Today's Devin Nunez. Okay, um, let's see what he's going to do for us. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. I mean, it just it makes the world of difference, and I really do appreciate it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Wow. Cool. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. For me, Devin Nunez is another Mark Meadows. He looks the part, he looks smart, he wears the right kind of suits. Isn't he a dairy farmer? I'll tell you in a minute. But I mean, um, and now he's going to head up this billion dollar tech uh, threat to Twitter. Really? So, uh, 1973, Devin Gerald Nunez was born on October 1st, so he's a Libra. And uh, he's the older of two sons. His grandfather founded Nunez and Sons, a prominent dairy operation in Tulare uh, County, uh, California. And uh, he's three quarters Portuguese descent and with ancestors immigrating from the Azores to California. Now, California. Now, in 1973, he received an Associate of Arts degree from the College of the Sequoias. Interesting name for college. Uh, 1995, Nunez graduated from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo with a bachelor's in agricultural business. Smart guy. 1996, he earned a master's degree in agriculture and returned to farming. Uh, at the age of 23, he was elected to the College of the Sequoias Board uh, of the college and um, making him one of California's youngest community college trustees in state history. And he served on the board until 2002. Now, in 2001, President George W. Bush appointed Nunez to serve as California State Director for the United States Department of Agriculture's uh, Rural Development Section. Pretty cool. Section. Pretty cool. And in 2003, he's serving as a U.S. Congressional Representative for California. In 2006, his family sold their California farm and purchased a dairy in Sibley, Iowa, so now Middle America. In 2009, Nunez wrote in the Wall Street Journal that he became an entrepreneur at the age of 14 uh, when he bought seven head of young cattle, uh, learning quickly how to perform, how to profit from his investments. Now, I mean, his family's always been in the dairy business. Um, is that a stretch? I don't know. Uh, 2015 to 2019, he's a Republican. Uh, he is a Republican, of course, and chair of the House Intelligence Committee and also a member of 45's transition team. Remember, he got elected, so now he needed a transition team. At the last minute, he pulled one together. 45 that is now 2017 the u.s house intelligence committee under nunez launched an investigation into possible russian interference in the 2016 u.s elections good u.s elections good 2018 nunez publicly released a four-page memorandum alleging an fbi conspiracy against trump he began an investigation of the FBI and the, Just and the Justice Department for abusing their powers in an attempt to hurt number 45. And then 2021, Trump awarded him, Trump awarded him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Later, Nunez announced his uh, resignation from Congress in order to be CEO of the Trump Media and Technology Group. And that's where we are right now. So let's see what the cards tell us about Devin. Okay, so this Solabusca Tarot uh, are great cards. These are museum quality, and uh, these are uh, in the era of the Italian Renaissance. So I love these cards. Los Carabio, amazing box to come in. Look at that. And uh, you really feel like you got a great gift if you got these. The book is pretty cool, too, but it's not in color, but it's a lot of interesting story. I mean, you have to be interested in reading this to kind of get through the book, but there's some good tips on divination in there, too. The cards um, are great. I mean, they're slick. They're big. Um, so there, that's something that makes them a little bit hard to use. 
but um, you know these date back from around like I said the mid to late 1700s I guess and they're an assemblage of different uh, uh, examples of cards from a couple different uh, museum pieces I think or private collections and then they put them together to make this whole 78 card stack but I mean look I mean they're gorgeous you see them how beautiful they are and colorful it's just hard to use them um, you just have to commit to uh, how are you going to uh, work out your divination so really love these cards I'm so glad I got them Solobuska Tarot and um, but honestly, I don't use them that often because they're a little tricky to use. Gosh, look what a mess I made trying to do this. You know, this is a good way to mix the cards up. And uh, if you want somebody, if you're doing a reading and you want to kind of get their energy with the cards, I mean, look how much you have to handle them to get them back together. So that's all good uh, for me as far as getting the uh, cards uh, mixed up with some good uh, juju. Devin Nunez. Devin Nunez. So, Portuguese descent. Grandpa started a dairy farm. Then they moved the dairy farm from California to Iowa. Interesting. Then um, the uh, California dairy farmers are calling him a not dairy farmer. But he's going to take all that experience and use it to what naturally would come next was to head a media empire. That is what naturally would come next, yeah? I thought it was cheese, but... Okay, so, Devin Nunez. So, is he in it for the money, do we think? Do we think he's in it for the money? So, Trump gave him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. You know, I've got to uh, clear my mind. Okay, so, Devin Nunez. Let's see, what are, uh, is a good question for him? This, let's do three cards just to see if he's honestly believes... Trump is in the best interest of this nation. Look, the cards don't even go together for that. Does Devin Nunez, three cards, honestly believe that Trump's agenda is the best thing for this nation? Three cards. One, two, and three. Okay, does he honestly believe that Trump's agenda is what's in the best interest of this nation. The signifier for this, okay, this is the five of um, wands. Is it the five? I need to count them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, five of wands. So the five of wands is an abuse of power. Simple enough. You know, wands are actions, motions, plans, and the five of wands is an abuse of power. That's how it's defined in the right away system. Okay, and it looks like a heavy load to carry. Uh, does Devin Unions believe Trump's agenda is in the best interest of this country? Okay, so this is the Queen of what? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. You know, this Queen, uh, Cups are emotion, compassion, uh, passion. And uh, this Queen, sad to say, is very not happy looking. Um, so that doesn't seem quite right. And then the final card for this, does he believe that Trump's agenda is in the best interest of this nation? Okay, so this is also a queen. This is a queen of uh, rods. So this is a queen of action and plans. And this queen, as a matter of fact, is very defiantly looking back at that queen. So two queens, <laughs> Trump and Nunez. So let's see. Does he believe that Trump's agenda is in the best interest of this uh, nation? We've got, it's a, an abuse of power. Okay. That's uh, honestly uh, what he knows. Um, this queen of cups, this queen of compassion, is looking very forlorn. Okay, and this queen of Ashen is looking a bit more triumphant over that queen of forlornness. So I would say that his action is, um, the, the strength of his actions is uh, uh, equal to his uh, feeling of uh, passion about this. And uh, the whole thing starts off with being an abuse of power. So I would say he's, he's just, he just sees this as an opportunity to make an action. Okay. I have personal thoughts, but I don't want to say them. So, now let's see. Will... Is he, is Devin Nunez, the best pick to make that media company of Trump's go? Okay. Is Devin Nunez the best pick to make a go of Trump's media company.
you know, it seems to me some young uh, internet-minded uh, startup would be the one to run a media empire. But uh, let's see. Is he the one that's going to make that media empire a go? We can do a full Celtic cross. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll start with six cards and we'll finish the last four at the last part of this uh, Celtic cross. So the signifier card of that question is Nunez, the one to make Trump's media empire successful. So uh, here we have the uh, page of cups. So again, cups are compassion, emotion, and so this page is the very least um, uh, significant of the court cards. So it looks like the page of cups, the least significant of the court cards, is Devin Nunez in this uh, in this instance, and he's bringing with him a lot of passion for the issue. Okay, but uh, you know, a knowledgeable passion. The um, uh, challenge to that, whether he's the one to make this empire go, is this not, uh, eight of cups. The eight of cups is leaving something behind um, typically for something else. And look, we even have, uh, you know, death, skull and crossbones uh, represented at the bottom of this. So the challenge of this, his uh, inexperienced passion for, for what's uh, beginning to happen here is having to turn his back on what he knows to maybe go for what uh, he thinks is, is a great big um, uh, bucket of value. Eight of uh, coins is the apprentice also. So the apprentice is the guy who has uh, practiced his craft and has, has shown you how well he can do it. So, and that's a great big basket of value. And uh, so I don't know. It looks like the challenge to, to this, him being this uh, newbie, uh, although with some passion about it, is the fact um, that he's been an apprentice for, for making money, and he's going to have to leave something behind to go pick up this bigger basket. The basis of this reading, then, for Devin Union, he's the one for the media company, is going to be this Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is, is truth, justice, rules, law. So underneath this, this almost seems to me to represent him <coughs> and Congress. <clears throat> Because congressmen are the ones who make the law. So that's how he starts out in this. Okay. The past of this reading is this page of uh, truth, justice, rules, law, this page of swords. And so this page is uh, bringing forth, you know, with, in the past, okay, very little in the way of truth, justice, rules, and law. Interesting. Okay, so he's a congressman. Uh, in the past, he's, he's been bringing forth very little truth, justice, rules, law. He signified as a page, an, uh, an uneducated, um, uh, but with passion, and um, challenged by this big bucket of uh, money that uh, he thinks maybe he can get. Up in the sky of this is this uh, five of coins, and uh, the five of coins is being left out in the cold actually. And you can see that he's represented here by this kind of a bird-like figure uh, with feet. And uh, this looks like the wings of the bird right here, the tails of the bird. It's covered it's around his head. He's kind of tucked in here like you would see a pigeon uh, on a pole trying to warm itself from the cold. And uh, the five of coins is really being left out in the cold. So let's see if I can get these cards into a position where they continue to tell the story while I keep talking. Okay. The uh, likely outcome of the first part of this Celtic cross, then, is he the one? So another page. This is a page of, uh, oh no, this is a two. This is a two. This is the major arcana. So this, if I'm not mistaken, is the priestess or the empress. I'm going to leave this questionable right now because it seems to me that, uh, yeah, this is this is the major arcana right here. So this is number two in this deck of the major arcana, in which case this is either a priestess, which it doesn't seem to be, or an empress, which it, it's more likely that it would be that. So the, uh, the likely outcome of this is some uh, fruitful um, situation here, okay? Um, the last four cards of this for Devin Nunes, is he the one to make a go of this media empire? Okay, the self of that question then is this, oh my goodness, what is this, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 
this being the major arcana, the number 14, I'm going to have to look it up because I'm not confident uh, about that. And I have to count them down in this. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, that can't be right. Uh, one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This... Uh, 14... Uh, 13 is typically death, but it looks like this um, is symbolizing uh, some sort of a temperance in that regard. Okay, so that's the self of this question. Um, the environment that that's in, okay, with this 10 of wands is a great big heavy bundle to move forward. Okay, so all these ones are jammed into this huge container. You still got two to pick up to get this thing going on. So this is a hard, hard situation to make happen. The sky of this reading is this uh, Four of Pentacles, uh, Four of Cups, I'm sorry to say. And the Four of Cups is kind of something that you don't want. So this is um, typically represents uh, being offered something that you don't particularly want. And uh, what they're doing here is they're actually emptying out uh, some of this compassion into this uh, uh, sack. Uh, almost like they're taking out the trash. They're getting rid of some compassion to take this out. That's interesting. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing, for is he the right guy, is this, um, what do we have here? Is this an ace? This is a, um, this is a knight of pentacles. So he's going to fight for that value. He's going to fight to make this work. He might just make it happen. Let me go over it again because there was some amb ambiguity about some of these cards. Okay, so he starts out as a page of cups. He has a uh, little com little uh, emotion about what he's doing, but he's challenged by this eight of pentacles, which is the apprentice, which is usually practicing his craft, but this apprentice here, sadly, has worked himself to the bone. So that's not a good indicator. The base of this kind of shows where he was a lawmaker uh, with this... Um, Ace of uh, Swords, which is law, rules, justice, uh, law. And then in the past of this, with this uh, Page of Swords, again, a very weak, uh, he's been a very weak arbiter of those truth, justice, rules, law. Up here in the sky, um, with this uh, Five of Pentacles, is being left out in the cold, and that's very clear. And then over here, with this uh, Two, let's see, you've got the fool, you've got the magician, and then the third person you meet is either the empress or the um, priestess. I'm going to say this has got to be the priestess instead. It really has to be. And, um, no, but this is more of an empress figure here. So, yeah, so this is an empress, which is trying to be fruitful uh, in the situation that you've got here. It's very interesting. Very interesting. But there in the, the uh, uh, signifier for that question is right down here in this number 14, which looks to me to be a, a, a temperance almost. Okay. And um, let me think about this card here. I'll turn on the light. Yeah, this has to be the high priestess. So the High Priestess uh, brings with her all the knowledge and the power that she needs to get something done. I've got to go over this one more time. Uh, page, weak uh, e emotion. Uh, challenged by an apprentice who's worked himself to death to practice his value. He comes out of Congress, a rule maker, and, but he was a page, a weak rule maker. He's been, uh, the highest he can hope for here is to be left out in the cold because why? He's dealing with Trump. This high priestess here, which is that what this is, this high priestess here, um, really comes just with, with all the knowledge that she needs to get something done. And then this one here being temperance is trying to, as a signifier, is trying to find a balance in how to get this done. But it's in the environment of this really heavy load to carry. And then this uh, eight, I'm sorry, this four of cups is really something that you don't particularly uh, want. And then uh, finishing up with this knight of pentacles, really fighting to get this thing done. So it doesn't show him being successful, but it does show him really putting forth an effort given his weak uh, background in this. So I'm going to pull one more card. One more card to see, uh, is he the right guy to make this happen for Trump? right here okay and this is the queen no this is the king 
of Pentacles, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is the King of Pentacles. So it looks like he may be the one to pull this out. This looks like, a, no, this is the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, it sure is. So this is the Queen of Pentacles. And uh, so here she is. Uh, really, he may uh, be uh, successful at this, as a matter of fact. Very interesting. So, I don't know, maybe it'll work. We'll just have to watch and see. That's all. That's the only thing we have left to do. But I hope you like the video. Thank you so very much. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.